What's up YouTube, Dialed Sportsman here. Wanted to bring you guys a video talking about one of the newer lineups or newest additions to the Palmetto lineup. This is the PSA Sabre 10 M10 or M110A1. And um, let me just tell you right out the gate, I like it so far. I did another video of where I did an unboxing fresh out the box. Um, and this is a video talking about it a little bit after shooting about a hundred rounds through it. And yeah, guys, I do really like it so far. Um, what I can say about it is the recoil is manageable. It's a 308. If you have shot 308 before, um, this is probably a little less recoil than a bolt action, but definitely more than an AR-15. And um, other than the recoil, it shoots pretty pleasant. I haven't messed with the uh, gas system too much. So up here is a, a tunable gas block and I've just been running it how it came straight out the box, haven't even touched it yet. And um, as far as setup goes, I have an LPVO on here, or actually let's start over here. So um, let's go work our way back here. So I put on a um, Magpul bipod because it looks sick. <laughs> it looks really good. It matches the rifle really well. And also, I wanted to keep it lightweight overall. Um, I do like some of the offerings from Harris and Atlas, but they're more heavy and more expensive. And for me, this isn't all about precision. Um, this isn't the most precise precision rifle ever. Uh, but I can say, after shooting about 100 rounds through it, for me and this exact firearm i'm getting about one moa so i'm very pleased with that um i know it kind of seems like it can be all over the place as far as accuracy for me it's super accurate shooting just straight up ball ammo the cheap stuff that i could find um 308 is expensive right now so you know i wanted to just get it out there and get some rounds down down range and um, so far, I like it. And as you can see here, there is a three-prong muzzle device. This is a Surefire three-prong. It came with a three-prong muzzle device, as you can see here. And each prong is a different length. And I shot about 50-ish rounds with this one and then swapped over to run suppressed. And I really do like what it comes with out the box. It worked really well, and supposedly these are all different lengths, so uh, you don't get a, a ring after firing it, and it works. I didn't hear any ring, um, but ultimately I did want to run it suppressed, so I threw this on here, and I was running the Surefire um, SOCOM 300 SPS out of it, and that was pretty sweet. Uh, I'll throw in a video right here for you guys so you can see it fired um, unsuppressed as well as suppressed. 308, 150 grain ball ammo, 16 inch barrel. Three oh eight, sixteen inch barrel, surefire, suppressed. 308 16 inch barrel surefire suppressed all right guys so as you can see um that'll show you a little bit more how it shoots and the recoil again like i said i didn't mess with the gas block if i did tune it a little bit um when i'm running suppressed i'll get a little bit better ejection pattern and um, like I said, I just wanted to get some rounds down. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with it. On here right now, I have an LPVO. I'm going to change that ultimately to a 3 to 15, I believe, from Arkin. Um, so once that gets in, I will provide you guys another video update on that with more rounds. Um, but yeah, guys, I like it so far. If you're in the market for a 308 semi-auto, and you're into and dig these color schemes, I would say it's a go. Um, it's pretty sweet too that it has a bolt release 
Uh, unfortunately, no bolt catch on the right side, which kind of sucks, but it does have the bolt release on the right side, ambi controls. Um, I've got some other ARs and I have customized a lot of them. And right out the box, there's not really much you gotta do. Um, and a good optic and maybe a bipod and you're good. I mean, the grip is solid. It comes with radian parts right here and the charging handle. Um, and the Hyperfire trigger is good. I do like it. I will ghost it again for you guys right here. <clears throat> so I have a lot of Geisley triggers on my other firearms and this feels damn near as good. A little more gritty in the take up. Hopefully that goes away a little bit. It's not too bad but you get to the take up right here. And I would say that's three, three and a half pounds. Reset. So yeah, good trigger. Um, again, after a hundred rounds, no issues. Um, ran great for me, maybe a little over gassed. I can tune that a little bit more. Um, but I, I would say it's a go. And again, with about one MOA accuracy with cheap, you know, 308 ammo, ammo is expensive right now. Um, I do enjoy it. The only thing from here I would change is maybe the B5 grip, uh, B5 systems grip and coyote to match. Uh, this one's fine. It's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with it overall. I like the, uh, larger tang here. And I'm gonna change the optics too, like I said. So um, if you wanna know what's going on with this optic setup right here, this wrap, and you, you don't wanna have to paint your optics, uh, I do have another video where I go over how to do that. Um, so yeah, guys, you can check that out if uh, you're interested in doing that. But so far, so good, 100 rounds in, and um, it's pretty dope. So thank you guys very much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I do have a lot more videos like this coming down the road as well as some on my channel now. So if you enjoyed this, feel free to jump on board and subscribe and also throw a like. It really helps grow the channel. So awesome. You guys take care.